Hey guys, this is Cyril Cheat Gupta, your friend in internet marketing, and today I want to show you an amazing new plugin that will boost your conversions big time. The plugin uses the same principle which big retail houses use to get millions of dollars worth of sales in one day. The sales tactic is scarcity. You might have read about this if you read any books on the art of persuading your customers and closing the deal. Scarcity is when you convey to the customer that something is available in either a limited quantity or for a limited time and create a sense of urgency in your customer so that she is compelled to take action quickly. Retailers make fantastic use of scarcity when they organize a sale and this is so effective that on days like Black Friday and Cyber Monday, entire industries band together to sell billions of dollars of products in just a couple of days. Our plugin WP Scarcity Jeet lets you make use of the scarcity principle to get a huge conversion boost on your website. I'm talking double, triple or an even bigger jump in your conversions depending on how you use it. So let's get right into this and see how it works. What WP Scarcity Jeet does is create an overlay scarcity bar on your website or web page which displays a countdown timer, your scarcity slogan, an action button and a graphic. This overlay attaches itself to the screen and stays on top of your page no matter where on the page you are. The positioning, the countdown timer combined with your slogan and the graphic ensure that your lead sees clearly that time is running out, which creates a sense of urgency and helps you in getting that conversion. WP Scarcity Jeet is very customizable. You can change almost everything to match your website's look and the feel you want. Let's have a quick look at the admin and see what you can do with it. The first option is apply to and here you can select whether you want to make the bar appear on a specific page or on all the pages throughout your website. The options are show on all pages which is of course self-explanatory it means the scarcity bar will show across the entire website or you can choose to display it only on a specific page or only on some specific pages by choosing the short code only option. When you do that, you will be able to put the short code on any post and the scarcity bar will show up over there. It's gonna look like this. Right. The second segment is bar appearance which has a number of options that you can set to control how the bar should look. You can either choose to position it at the bottom or the top. Right now it's at the bottom but if you choose top, it will be aligned at the top of the page. Then you have the bar gradient. You can select the color for the background. It's from blue to black right now, but I can easily change it. Let's set it to red. Now it is set to red to black. And if I click on save settings, then I can go back, refresh my page here, and the gradient is red to black. This way you can actually set any color background you want something that matches your page, something that matches your graphics, your theme, whatever. You can have any background you want for the uh, scarcity bar gradient. Great. Then you can actually modify the catch line over here. Hurry the offer ends soon is what we have now. But I can set it to anything I want as I should be able to. Uh, for example, I can write the offer expires in or whatever I want. and come back here save settings refresh and we should have the new catch line fantastic you can also change the color in which the catch line is displayed the default is right now white but you can change it to something else let me change it to yellow which should stand out pretty well on the red background that we've selected let's see the page again right so Sybil, this is very customizable you can actually modify the entire appearance appearance of everything and get a custom uh, scarcity bar for your page which is totally complementary to your theme then we have the option to either show the action button and of course set its appearance 
or if you want you can even choose to hide it so if i don't want to show it i can just remove the checkbox click on save settings and now the option button the action button will be gone and i can use this space to uh, maybe get a better get a bigger catch line or something but if i want it just make sure you enable check box then you can select the background you want let's go for this background color and you can have the button uh, button text that you want you can even choose the color of the button text and click on save settings and now if we refresh we should see the action button in the colors that we set right so you can see this over here scroll down a bit more and you have the option to actually set the image this is the image we have right now it's a standard product box anonymous product box but you can set in any image you want it can be a cartoon it can be a product shot it can be your photograph or anything that you want or if you want you can choose not to show any image at all just click on save settings and refresh the page and whatever setting you've chosen will be put over here will be the appearance that you've selected great so i'm gonna just quickly enable the show image box over here again and scroll down a bit and this scarcity bar is very intuitive it's very easy to use in fact you don't have to worry about the time zone problems either it lets you select the time zone you want to work with there's a big list over here which contains every time zone on this globe and you can select the time zone that you want to work with just set it over there and then you don't the timer will actually show up in that time zone according to that time zone and you won't have to calculate anything then you can also decide how much data do you want to show on the uh, timer right now it's set to days hours minutes and seconds but i can show as much as year months weeks days hours minutes seconds or year months days or uh, hours minutes minutes and seconds it all depends on how how long your offer is going to last if it's a offer which is valid maybe just for 24 hours then you would want maybe just to show the hours minutes and seconds so just select that select the format uh, and you can fill in the end date that you want the uh, the date when the offer expires then go to save settings and click on it and now when you go to the timer bar the scarcity bar you will find that the data is displayed according to the change you made and only the hours minutes and seconds are being displayed now as we set but that's not all you can actually customize every aspect of this appearance and that includes the background of the uh, of the timer too uh, right now it's it's you know set to sort of gray but i can change it i can change it to uh, uh, something that's maybe uh, you know different than what it's right now so uh, let's let's pick up a random color i'm not so good with colors so uh, you'll have to kind of you know adjust with me if the uh, result it doesn't look so good as it should but i think you will get to understand what the feature is for so i'm just gonna change it a bit and our background was uh, red so maybe this will look good on it and click on save settings let's go to this page refresh it again and we have a different colored background for the uh, countdown timer too so this way you can actually customize everything you can even change the foreground color text for the timer bar and that that again can be done just by changing the color using the easy to use color selector going back and you will see the results right and finally you can decide uh, what do you want the uh, timer to do what do you want the scarcity bar to do when the offer expires you can either select to make the scarcity bar invisible or you can just show the expired timer which will show the uh, timer uh, you know uh, set to zero zero which means the offer is already over or finally you can show to you can choose to redirect your offer redirect your customer to some other page maybe uh, a page that uh, has an opt-in form or a squeeze form or a bonus offer whatever you want uh, the, through the final offer through the, through the final option redirect to url and here you can feed in the url that you wants to redirect to but right now i have get, I've, I've set it to uh, don't show the bar at all and that uh, you know works for me 
So I'm going to just, you know, change the colors a bit again because I don't want it to look so bad. So I'm going to set it to blue and I think it will stand out better the colors that I selected on blue. Right. And let's change this. Let's change the uh, action button color again. Click on save settings and let's set it to let's set the foreground color to white once more and now i think we have a scarcity bar that looks a bit better and that's when we need to see the most important feature set or the feature that will actually make this stand out and make your offer convert really really well we have an effect setting in the timer which will actually give your timer some snaz some animation uh, addition which will make it really stand out and which will draw your visitors eyes to the timer itself in a very very compelling compelling manner so what i've chosen is i've, so, I've chosen the slide effect with a delay of three seconds and the transition time is uh, 0.3 seconds which is about uh, 300 milliseconds and i've chosen to play a sound now when i click on save settings and a refresh the timer will not show up initially but after the delay expires after my three seconds or whatever i've chosen the timer will slide in and a sound will play which means your viewers your visitors eyes will be automatically drawn towards the timer towards the offer that you have and there's no way he will miss your message it's going to to register really really strongly on his psyche so this is something that's unique to this timer and something that will really really help your conversions and you can uh, modify every aspect of it you can uh, select to uh, you know uh, show the scarcity bar uh, with any delay i've chosen to to show it after 3 seconds but you can show it after 10 seconds after 12 seconds when the user when the viewer is already engaged by your page and you can also change the tran transition time if you know the time uh, the animation takes uh, earlier it was set to 0.3 seconds but i'm setting it to one second now and let's have a look at the animation again right so it slides up a bit more slowly now so you can customize every aspect of it you can decide how you want it to appear and there's also one more effect not just slide in there's one more effect fade in click on fade in click on save settings and refresh and this time instead of sliding in the timer faded in the scarcity bar faded in and these are the two effects that you can select from uh, to make your page really really compelling to make your offer really really compelling this way there is no way that a visitor will be able to miss your offer to miss the scarcity uh, urgency that you want to create uh, and you will get a big big boost in your conversions if you use scarcity properly using this timer make sure your offer is genuine make sure the scarcity is real and make sure your timer design complements your uh, theme make sure you have the product shot or any cartoon something maybe an interesting cartoon maybe uh, maybe your own photograph whatever on the on the scarcity timer and you lead the you lead the visitor to somewhere where he can take action you can point him to a squeeze page you can point him to the buy button on the same page using the anchor tag or you can send him to some other offer also if you want the pot the potential is infinite the possibilities are infinite and you can benefit from this uh, scarcity bar timer the scarcity bar plugin on every website that you have directing the traffic where you want them to go making your visitors take the action you want them to take so i hope you enjoy this product and you benefit from it this is siljit gupta signing off